So in this video, I wanna talk about how you can maintain a great response rate a, to allow you the best channel or the best booking platform and make, make sure that you're listing well. But secondly, to really understand that, look, response rate can be a major vital process on your Airbnb account because as the ranking comes through, as people are looking to book, there's numbers of things. A, your customer, the people who have stayed with you will rate you. And secondly, the further guest who's gonna book with you will also want to see. So look, if you're new to this channel, guys, my name is Piers, worked with over 1,900 properties all over the world. And in today's video, I wanna show you some basic that's gonna allow you to A, hopefully change the way you think about Airbnb response rate. And secondly, some of the way you can actually utilize to grow your business. Right, as you can see from my screen, this is an account from somebody who actually only started their Airbnb business in about August, September time. And today's, uh, today's video, you're gonna see how, firstly, they haven't met a lot of uh, criteria. Look, we're looking at super host um, and being a super host on this account, what they're looking for at the moment is the overall rating to be over 4.8 percent so they have obviously they haven't got a review yet or they've only got one review so far it's about to pull up on the system they also have to have stay over 15 nights uh, 10 completed stays or 100 nights over three plus stays that you need to be me with obviously being a new account but the most important thing is the criteria on actual response rate is sat around 90%, whereas my client is currently sitting on 100% on response rate, which means obviously that is a great news for them to attract them, you know, being a super host at coming days, and lastly, the cancellation rate. Now, this is a small account that I've shown you. Now, I'm gonna show you a bigger account that I work with and show what a difference it can make when you have more properties. Whereas now I'm going to show you a big account, an account that's got over, I think just over 21 properties. And at the moment, their Airbnb account obviously has been running for a lot of time. And you can see how their overall rating is sat around 4.1%. Obviously, having over 20 properties, you are going to face some of the challenges. Uh, still good over, you know, 4.1, whereas the target's 4.8. Your uh, cancellation rate should be under 1%. You can see it's slightly above that. Um, but the main thing I want to show you with again today's video is that response rate. Now, my client's actually doing really well on their response rate right now. Even though there's 20 properties, I can clearly see, you know, they're rectifying problems. They're, you know, they're dealing with the lead and everything to do with inquiries. They're set around 99% uh, with, you know, the criteria being 90% on the actual account. So now I really want to sit down and actually talk to you on this free training to exactly understand how this is going to work and some of the basic three processes that a lot of people don't have in their Airbnb account. So without further ado, let me show you my screen. So firstly, it's a free training on maintaining a great response rate on Airbnb. So what do you have to do? So to be to stay updated with or your Airbnb app. I think one of the biggest thing a lot of people forget is to update their app. And a reality is sometimes when you don't update an app, um, Airbnb will spawn, uh, will, will stop responding. And as a result of that, you're not gonna get those inquiries straight to your phone. Now, imagine if you, you know, your app didn't even tell you and you, you know, the lead came in the morning or the inquiry or the message came in the morning, left it all the way till the evening till you physically opened the app and found out that you know, that you had a message pending, that automatically creates a problem. So for me, the first thing is just to make sure you are updating and actually have, have even having that notification on, on your app is very, very important on Airbnb. Now, the second point I wanna talk about is trying out the schedule message tool. Now, as you go on Airbnb, you will be able to see, as I should show you on screen, an option to schedule a message tool. What it does is automatically does, uh, let's say for example, if somebody messaged you, you can, you can always go back and say, hey, we're out of office right now. We'll come back to you shortly when we, one of our team member picks up the messages. Very easy tool to use, always helps with your response rate. The third one, as you can see, it says set up quick replies. Um, numbers of ways I, you know, I truly believe a, a host can do as you grow your business, you're probably looking at hiring a VA who can deal with the account all the time. So you've, you know, you've got constantly got at least somebody in the account for the, for the 20, you know, even 24 hours of the day, you can, you can have certain people doing certain shift and the other people, but setting up quick replies basically mean making sure that when somebody replies, when somebody actually, let's say, 
even puts an inquiry through and don't, doesn't actually book with you, you have an option to set up a quick reply, which is through your channel managers. And you can go by saying, hey, thank you for the message. We're, we're working on your lead right now and somebody in the team will quickly get back to you. Now, setting up quick replies basically means the response rate even though that's not a problem solved or the answer solved for that guest, it's still a message that's gone to their inbox. And as a result of that, Airbnb sees an algorithm that you've responded, responded the actual message a lot quicker. The last one I want to talk about is choose the contacting method. Now, as you get somebody booked in from Airbnb, there's two ways I want to guide you on this. One, if once they've booked you on Airbnb, Airbnb then obviously offers you to have their phone number. Now, what you can do is as a part of business system, I'd like, I'd preferably take them into WhatsApp conversation because what that allows you to do is actually then not worry about the response rate in, in Airbnb itself. Um, again, the communication will be a lot more better. However, if there's a complaint and I've, you know, this is something that I've learned through the process over the last few years is if there's a complaint and you haven't locked that conversation via the WhatsApp back um, via the Airbnb back end, then Airbnb will not class as a full communication because their team cannot go and actually see the conversation you've had with the guest to solve the problem. So it's got to be making sure that you understand when to take them into or away from the Airbnb backend message, but also understand when you should be having those conversation um, using those technique. Now, moving on, I want to talk about what not to do, you know, so there's certain things that people do and which again affects the, the ranking perspective. So one thing is after 24 hours, Airbnb will automatically decrease your overall response rate. Now, it could be as simple as somebody's booked with you, stayed with you, had a message exchange, and they might say you, thank you so much, all solved. You should always, even if you send a smiley face back, that's still a response rate. Because sometimes you feel like they've responded back with a thank you and you don't need to go back, but you do. Because then again, if you look at from an algorithm perspective, Regardless, you haven't replied back to the message. Now, that is why it's very, very important. The other thing is, look, in 24 hours, the response rate will change the search results, which means once you've decreased the response rate, um, you, you know, your search chances are going to go down, which eventually will affect the types of booking you get. Here you can see in, in my screen, uh, just wanted to show you this as uh, it will give you an understanding of how, how Airbnb can work. So this was an inquiry, obviously our guest has uh, uh, the guest has inquired and the, once the guest has in, inquired victor's gone back and said uh, not suitable obviously to serve the client because he was fully booked the cancel uh, the the guest has actually said cancel now which was effectively saying obviously the inquiry has been cancelled thank you now what's happened here is victor hasn't gone back and said you know thank you for consideration us anyway and you know any response at the moment or without a response the account is now fully flagged as no response for 24 hours which then again affects his ranking purposes in long-term perspective so again a quick example of what should be looking I, if i was here i would just go back and say thank you for you know requesting the cancellation i hope you find the property you want if at any point you need any help please give us a message well thank you so much for watching another grow your bnb video and i hope you enjoyed it please make sure you hit that like subscribe and we'll be back with another video soon